I hope everybody's doing great. I am doing this tutorial on carrot cake. Yes, it's time for carrots now. Um, I have different recipes for carrot cake, but this one is more on the tropical style. It has uh, coconut, pineapple, carrots, walnuts, and you can add raisins if you want them. Uh, and you can leave the ones out if you don't want them too. Uh, but it's a delicious recipe, you will love it. And here you have it. This is the most delicious carrot cake in the world. I think so, at least. Anyways, um, here it is. Look at how beautiful it is. It tastes delicious. You don't even need buttercream in it. It is so good and it'll, it'll stay moist for a while too. Uh, you can use cream cheese with it and it's just a wonderful, wonderful recipe. It has coconut, carrots, walnuts, pineapple. You can preheat your oven to 350. Personally, I like to lower the temperature to 325 once I place my cakes in the oven. Now it's time to get our baking pans ready. I like to use Baker's Joyce because I move faster, but if you don't have it available, you can use some shortening and flour. If you use the spray, make sure to clean the nozzle so it doesn't clog. You will need two cups of all-purpose flour. Make sure to sift it. Now that we have our flour sifted, we're gonna add two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, three teaspoons of cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, one quarter teaspoon of allspice, and one quarter teaspoon of ginger. Now you will need two cups of shredded carrots. You can use a food processor or you can use a box grater. Make sure to use a very fine grain, even finer than the one that you see in this photo. You're gonna place the two cups of carrots in a bowl. You're gonna add one cup of chopped walnuts, one cup of flaked coconut, and then you're gonna add one eight ounce can of crushed pineapple. Make sure that it's crushed pineapples, 8 ounces, and drain all the juice out of the can. Now you can mix all these ingredients together. In a mixing bowl add 3 eggs, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, 1 cup of vegetable oil, 1 and 1 quarter cup of sugar, and 1 cup of brown sugar. For a lower fat content, you can replace half of the oil with some applesauce. Now it's time to mix all these ingredients together. You can use a mixer or you can do it manually. It's time to add the dry ingredients to the mix. Make sure to mix them well. Now it's time to add our carrot mixture. If you're not a big fan of nuts, you can leave the walnuts out. It's time to fold the mixture well. It's time to fill our baking dish. I am using two 8x3 pans. Remember, always it's best not to open the oven while the cake is baking. When the cake detaches from the side of the pan, your cake is ready. Before the cake cools down completely, remember to wrap them well and place them in the fridge so they get really moist. You can go visit my website. I'm going to post the links at the bottom of the screen, so just look for the info and you will find my website, you find my Facebook, you can go post photos in Facebook and share your cakes. I love looking at everybody's cakes, so please go and post photos. That's my favorite part of Facebook. I usually post in my blogs when I have classes and things like that, so don't forget to, once in a while, just, you know, this it. Just, just saying. This is my favorite part of the video. It's called peeking. I ate the whole thing. This is what happens. I have all the karaoke. <laughs> Terrible! 
make sure that the teeth are clean, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Silly. Now I need to go to the gym. That's Somba. Until next time. Ta-ta!